This coyote is the first to smell it. A bumblebee colony has set up shop deep in this bank and he's picking up the scent of their honey. It's fascinating to see how he looks up as if he's used to finding honey in a tree, not in the ground. He's not interested in taking on this bumblebee nest and wisely heads out for easier picking. A gray squirrel wanders too close to the entrance and is promptly escorted out of the area. A barred owl is an unexpected visitor to the nest as it confirms the fact that, yes, bumblebees are on its menu. A white-tailed deer spots the nest and instinctively steers a wide path around it. Raccoons eventually discover the buried treasure and are tempted to satisfy their sweet tooth but are not willing to brave the gauntlet of stingers and beat a hasty retreat. Are we seeing a pattern here? This prickly porcupine with its armor of quills may be one of the few animals that is safe from the bumblebee's sting. Its impenetrable defense is effective against attack from almost every predator, except one. There is only one predator in this forest that is fierce enough and fast enough to hunt and kill a porcupine, and that animal is the fisher. When a fisher family shows up, that ferocity and agility are on full display. They use a slash and grab technique as they tear into the bank to dislodge the honeycombs inside. This is the same method of attack they would use on a porcupine as they circle the animal and strike at the vulnerable face until it is worn down. All hell breaks loose as the bees swarm to defend the colony but the fishers are too fast and swoop in to steal the precious honey. Their thick fur provides them with protection from the bee's stinger. They can relax as they chow down on their hard-earned treat. It's not long before they return for seconds. Ouch! That one got through. Fishers are normally solitary creatures, so this group is more than likely a mother and her kits out on a life skills training lesson. Today's lesson, Beehive Rating 101. <laughs> retreat and return, over and over, relentless in their pursuit of the sweet treat inside.
Remarkably enough, one fisher finds a missed honeycomb and makes short work of it. Back to the slash and grab technique to dig out some more. They continue their assault through the night and into the morning until all the honeycomb within reach is gone. The survival of this hive is now in serious doubt. But the bees never give up. This raccoon family soon finds out that even though the bees have lost most of their honey, they still fiercely protect what is left of their hive. A closer look the next day reveals the true extent of the damage to the hive. And even with all of the destruction, the foraging bees continue their work. Here we see a returning forager bee communicate a message to a departing forager. The vibrations may signal information as to the direction and distance to a plentiful source of nectar. While the forager bees desperately work to replace the lost honey, the worker bees are in full damage control mode. In what appears to be a futile effort, they attempt to repair the damaged hive by raking and shoveling materials back to the entrance. It will be interesting to see if the hive can survive the coming winter. 